The IDEA Awards are a pan-provincial showcase recognizing individuals and corporations doing outstanding work in inclusion, diversity, equity, and anti-racism. This ceremony celebrates their work and provides a platform to share their success with others in the community. Thank you to everyone who submitted nominations and congratulations to everyone who was nominated. So we have six awards. So we're going to do one at a time. I'm going to say a little bit about each. Uh, before inviting our award presenters up uh, and then we will announce the winner of the award and if you've won an award please come up claim your award and we'll take a quick snap and uh, go on to the next presentation first we have the anti-racism and inclusivity youth award uh, sponsored by McGinnis Cooper law firm thank you uh, this award is for an individual who's 18 and under uh, to an individual or a youth group who has uh, advocated for inclusion and anti-racism in their school and community. The recipient of this award fosters a great awareness of racism or exclusion and works to create spaces that offer safe and inclusive areas for all students and young people in the community. Now, examples of notable achievements exemplified by the winner of this award may include, but are not limited to, establishing an extracurricular or community group that promotes anti-racism advancing support systems for new Canadians, or advocating for changes to existing school or community policies that promote systemic racism or bias. The youth may be new to Canada or Newfoundland or an international student, or they may be permanent residents or citizens. I'd like to invite Amanda Nash from McGinnis Cooper to come up and present the award. And drum roll. Brrr. The winner of the youth award is Analea Houdan Spurl. Thank you. Analea's voice has helped create dialogue and promote the import of safe spaces. She spoke to peers and confronted adults who should be allies but became facilitators to enable grievances to continue. Analea has brought $4,000 of grant money towards her communities and has appeared on CBC. Rogers Community TV and has become a public face of youth advocacy. Let's give her a round of applause there. Congratulations and thank you for your work. Next up, we have the Cultural Educator of the Year. This award is presented to a teacher, professor, or another educational professional who inspires active participation and excellence in multicultural education and is dedicated to enhancing cross-cultural awareness in the K-12 school system or within post-secondary studies. The recipient of this award is committed to educating Newfoundlanders and Labradorians about the importance of diversity, multiculturalism, and global issues, and human rights. Teaching methods and approaches to student engagement include, but are not limited to, creative critical thinking, field trips, project-based learning, research and writing, performances, and guest presentations across disciplines such as humanities, social sciences, and the arts. For this one, I'm going to invite Raylene Flynn from the diversity team to present this award. The winner of the Education Idea Award is Stephanie Gillis. Congratulations. Wow, I love your top. <laughs> Very floral. Stephanie's educational background in social work and education enables her to bring a unique perspective to her high school vice principal role. Her version of what the high school newcomer experience can and should be is supporting their exposure to learning models and related opportunities directly uh, to help them access their needs, challenges, and abilities of newcomer students. Thank you and congratulations, Stephanie. Next up is the Community Hero Award. This award is sponsored by Emera. Thank you, Emera. <clears throat> This award is presented to an individual or group that has exemplified outstanding volunteer service in assisting newcomers to settle and integrate into their new communities. Acts of service could include, but are not limited to, the provision of transport, emergency shelter or housing, health care and medical aid, sponsorship, financial support, and meeting other essential needs such as food upon arrival in the province. So, Amara. I uh, was unable to be here today to present this award, so I'm going to have Raylene Flynn come back up here. Raylene, and the award goes to Alicia Murija Medina. Thank you and congratulations. 
Alicia volunteers 24 hours a day, every day. She's willing to help and unite the Hispanic Latino community and encourage people to help her. She provides relevant information for community members translating it into Spanish so that the Latin American and Hispanic community members can better understand it in their native language. So if you aren't aware of the Latino Hispanic Association, they have a website and a Facebook page. So check that out. Thank you, Galicia. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the Bridget Foster Cultural Business Icon Award. This award is presented to a newcomer entrepreneur or a business that serves newcomers in rural or urban areas of Newfoundland and Labrador. The award winner will be an entrepreneur or business that has achieved notable success in a new business venture within the last five years and is currently in operation. The winner's efforts could include, but are not limited to, demonstrated growth based on market demand and customer trends, employment of skilled foreign workers or newcomers, meeting the needs of a culturally diverse marketplace, and or incorporating innovative ways of doing business while contributing to the tapestry of multiculturalism in the province. So for this, I would like to invite uh, Khalid Al-Harari from the ANC to present this award. The winner of the Business Icon Award is Mokisiulawa Darmola. Thank you and congratulations. Darmola recognizes the importance of accessibility and has taken steps to make their restaurant physically and socially acceptable to all patrons. This includes considering the needs of individuals with disabilities and creating an accommodating and welcoming environment. Congratulations and thank you for your work. Next up is the RBC Diversity Leadership Award sponsored by RBC. This award is presented to a manager, human resource professional, or business owner from a small to medium-sized business or corporation who strives for equality, diversity, and inclusion across all aspects of its operations. This winner is an admirable leader in the recruitment and retention of underrepresented groups. Their efforts could include, but are not limited to, implementation of progressive policies and procedures, standards of inclusiveness within the organization, building cultural intelligence through training, and or providing workplace accommodations. So for this, I'd like to invite Van Guy Makananza from RBC to present this award. Uh, I will say, uh, the winner of our award is unable to make it today, so we're gonna have uh, my coworker, David Campbell, receive it in their place, and we will get it to them as soon as possible. So I would like to congratulate Mr. Govind Archley. <laughs> Mr. Artley has advanced diversity and inclusivity in their environment by actively promoting equity and representation, fostering a culture of inclusion through initiatives such as diversity training, creating spaces for marginalized verses to be heard, and implementing inclusive policies and practices that ensure equal opportunities for all individuals regardless of their background. Congratulations, Govind, wherever you are. Congrats and thank you for your work. Lastly, we have our Hospitality NL International Ambassador Award. This award is sponsored by Hospitality NL for a Hospitality NL member that has successfully worked toward the inclusion of newcomers and international visitors by championing diversity as a tool for success in its daily operations and business model. The recipient of this award has achieved a high standard of international customer service in the NL tourism industry. I would like to invite Ms. Linda Hickey from Hospitality NL to present the award. The winner of Hospitality NL's Idea Award is Vishali Patel. Congratulations! Vishali has significantly advanced diversity and inclusivity within her business environment through her proactive approach and inclusive leadership style. Despite initial challenges as a first-time entrepreneur, Vishali has demonstrated a strong commitment to fostering an inclusive workplace, culture where individuals from diverse backgrounds feel valued and empowered to contribute. Thank you very much for your hard work. And thank you to our award sponsors as well.